I am super excited to talk about this one, to debate this one. I think we could have a great debate on this one. Walmart has launched a virtual try-on makeup experience within its app. According to Retail Dive, Perfect Corp, an AR and AI beauty and fashion technology provider, announced Wednesday its collaboration with Walmart on the new capability. The new feature is intended to, quote, enhance the Walmart shopping journey, end quote, according to a Perfect Corp press release. Users can try on blush, lip color, eyeshadow, and bronzer via the app, and customers can use the app on over 1,400 products from Walmart's brand assortment, including CoverGirl, Elf, Maybelline, and Revlon. And I tried the app last night, but like I said at the opening, or like you said at the opening, you were just on a girl's trip in Florida yes. with the moms of many teens and preteens. So you are likely much more informed on this topic than I am for many reasons. So what is your take? Are you buying into AR makeup try-on via the Walmart app? I didn't want to, Chris. Let me start by saying didn't want I to. didn't want to. Yeah. I mean, we, I can't also, wait to get my opinion on this one. There was yeah. also a headline about Google and Pat McGrath doing similar pop-up with makeup there. And I was like, mm -hmm. why in the hell is anybody going to want to, why would you do this when you have yeah, the actual no makeup sense. there to try? Well, maybe it does actually. Yeah. No, no, Chris, keep going. Yeah. Right. I just realized yeah. I'm yeah. old. This is the moment yeah, me too. where I'm saying I'm this old. This is when you realize you're old. Wrong. I'm yeah. old and I was wrong. And yeah. I'll tell you why because this is what the next generation is doing. This is how they are communicating. Like we've talked about this before, but I have to say after being with all of our, I was with, you know, five, there's five moms. Okay. We're down in Florida this week and our kids, no comments, no texting, not happening. But the second we started doing things to them and communicating with them on Snapchat, they were all over us. We couldn't yeah. get them to stop contacting us. We actually yeah. had to say, please stop sending us messages. We're trying to relax. Let me get back on my bar. It's high school. noon here in Florida. Kids. Well, I need please to get back on, back on the Tiki boat <laughs> bar. And I do not want to hear any more from you, but I think that it, it, you know, while you and I have for a very long time been pretty critical of AR and VR as a modality for shopping or benefit for shopping, yeah. it just might not be for us. I mean, we both tried the Walmart virtual makeup trend and I have to say it was a lot better than I realized. I posted on LinkedIn, like, yeah, yes, yeah, the, the colors may not have been for me, but yeah. this was exceptionally done. And I'm, yeah. I'm eating crow on this one. I'm saying, yeah. I think I was wrong. I think that this is how you're going to get the next generation to engage with your brand. Yeah. It's going to become more pervasive because of the other things that they're using in their everyday life, like Snapchat, like the Snapchat filters, like they are used to this experience. I am not, I am old. End of story. I might as well just move down to Florida right now. Yeah. Oh, man. And, you know, this is going to shock. I was ready to crap all over this. Like, I really yeah. was. Like, I've got my notes in front of me, like, all the bad things I was going to say about it. But then you posted that picture online, and I'm like, I got to try this out. And so I posted a return picture and, like, all that kind of thing. And I, so freaking, I freaking loved it. I, yes. I, I was like, I actually want to do it again for the pure enjoyment of doing it. And yes. the quality of it was so much better than I expected too. Like, right. Remember when we were on store of the future, like we were looking oh yeah, at this like is 10 years ago, we were looking at this technology and other yeah. things. And it was like, had so much further to come. So, yeah. I mean, the node on team at Walmart, like, holy buckets. Are you guys doing smart things over there? Like this is yeah. blew us away. Yeah, because I was gonna say, like, I'm still not sold on like the sneaker try-on versions of this. Like, that doesn't do it for for me. Maybe for the younger generation, to your point, it does. But or like the 3D room builders. But like for the beauty application and this tech, man, it was good. It was really good. Like to the point where I'm seriously want to try it again. Show it to my wife. Show it to my kids and get them using it because it really worked. And and I will say this too, and, and I don't take this lightly too. I actually do think I wore it better, which is crazy. Like oh my God, we had this contest online of who wore it better. Like I, like I was actually like surprised about how it made my face look. Like I was like, oh my God, this is crazy. I think my crazy favorite town. comment was, uh, you look like my aunt who never got married. And I was just dying. I was like, my, I, I was laughing so hard. And meanwhile, all the people listening to this podcast right now are like, Ann and Chris, you old, 
Like you, you it's like we just discovered Snapchat for the first time or like the filters for the first time. Yes, we well, are old, admittedly. For, fortunately, all the retail executives who listen to our podcast are as old, if not older than we are. And so I think hopefully we're in Except great shape. Except for poor Bella. Bella, your your yeah. cousin is like, <laughs> you old, Chris, you old. Bella's like, I've been doing AR makeup for a long time. <laughs>